everyone, this is Nicole with Stargazer Soaps. Today I'm going to do a fun soap. This soap I'm doing um, is called the Volturi, Volturi uh, from Twilight. We are kind of Twilight geeks in my house. Well, maybe not my husband. But the rest of us are. And I found out that one um, fragrance company had a bunch of fragrances based off of the Twilight series. So my kids were all excited, Mom, we have to have those. So this is the first one from that series, Volturi. I don't know if I'm going to put these up for sale or not. I haven't decided yet. Maybe a few, but we're going to keep some here and use some for Christmas. So I just added my lye solution. I'm going to have my silk and my clay. And my oils and my shea butter in here. So the fragrance, I have heard rumor that it is a fast, fast mover. So I have it split up into three equal parts. So hopefully... I won't have too much trouble with it. I don't really have a plan other than my colors. I'm going to do some black and some red and gold. You know, I think that's the thing about this bowl. It doesn't really pour well. I think I'm going to do my main base gold and just accent it with the black and the red. Sounds good to me. I think I've talked about it before a lot of times when I soap. I don't really have a plan. I just decide I want to soap, get my ingredients together, and then sit in front of my table and go from there. So the girls helped me pick out the colors. I still don't know how I'm going to layer this. I'll figure it out as I go. some more gold to that, I think. I think I was originally planning on using it as an accent color. blend in my fragrance. I know I'm going to have to move quickly. Should have moved my mold over. It's 
smells really good. I should have written down the description for you, but... One thing I've noticed about all of these scents is they aren't overpowering. Powering. Some of them have a real floral um, undertone to them. Actually, this is doing fine. I don't see it. It's not thickening up for me at all. Cool. Uh, they don't have a real strong perfume smell, which is something that I typically don't like about florals, is how perfumed they can be. Okay, save that for the top. I was worried I was going to end up with soap on a stick, but uh, it's actually. Mm -hmm. it's oh, red. it's uh, actually moving really well. Soap on a stick is when you put your fragrance in, and uh, it pretty much it, that's it doesn't give you any time. Here, we'll just do a, a drop swirl. It doesn't give you any time to do anything. Well, I guess I didn't wipe these out. Let's do that really fast. So I was so concerned about it accelerating. Be. My gold could be. No, well, it's still doing okay. So I don't know what the difference is. Maybe um, it's my recipe. just fine. You probably could have uh, used the stick blender, but we'll be safe. I almost just slipped that right off of, onto the floor there. Wow, I didn't even pay any attention to see if you were, if I was in the shot, and I wasn't, so you didn't get to see any of that. Sorry. But that's what I have so far. If you can see that, and it's still so fluid, I'm not going to be able to do anything with the top for a minute. So, um, I'm going to pause this for a minute, and I'll be back. Okay, it's only been a couple of minutes, and my red and my black and the bowls are starting to thicken up. Quite a bit. So, I'm going to go ahead and do something with this. I can't see through my hand. The other day, I was out here soaping, 
And I'm in the front of my house, so I can see my street and the neighborhood. And the neighbor cat went walking by with a great big rabbit in his mouth. And this has to be one of the biggest rabbits I have ever seen. The rabbit was bigger than the cat. And of course all my kids were here and freaking out. Look at that rabbit! We don't know what happened to the rabbit or the cat, but it's kind of entertaining. I'm going to go smack this down really fast before I add the last of the color. Make sure I'm actually in the shot this time. And just add a little bit of the red. I was going to do a top with all gold, but Change my mind. Like I said, I just kind of wing it. I just did a, a batch um, that I'm going to call Galaxy. And that is one of the first soaps that I've actually had a plan for in a very long time. I don't like to plan because they don't always come out the way that I envision in my head. I prefer just to be surprised. Which is funny because I don't like surprises. I like predictability. Except for when I soap, I guess. I do have a hard time waiting to cut. And I do come and check on my soaps as they're sitting and setting over and over and over again. Okay, so, oh, I need to texture that. And I know it's not ready to texture. So I'm going to pause this and we'll come back in a few minutes. Okay, I'm back. So give this, let's texture this just a little. to drizzle it and just mess it up. That's good enough. What do you think? Mm -hmm. Okay, add a little bit of gold to this one. This one's a little more masculine. And that's it. Doesn't need a whole lot. So that is Volturi, and I will cut this one in a couple of days, and we will see what, what we have inside. Thanks for watching. Bye.